Welcome to Headhunters, a quiz show that puts a price on knowledge. Today's three headhunters are creative writing student Michael, physics student Rishi, and qualifying to play for the first time today, retired GP Yasmin. Earlier, they earned their headhunter positions by answering three qualifying questions correctly. But do they think they've got what it takes to win today's rollover jackpot that currently stands at £10,200? Or will our three headhunters need some help from our talent pool? If they want to get some extra brains on board, they'll have to offer them a slice of that jackpot to take them onto their team. Michael, Rishi and Yasmin, you are today's headhunters. Michael, back again. Yeah. Last time you did it alone. Yeah. You weren't yeah. successful. You regretting that decision? It all depends on the board, you know. Last time I felt quite confident by myself this time. Who knows? Because there was a couple of questions that afterwards you said to me you knew, but you just... Yeah. The pressure got to you a bit. Ludo. Will that keep you up at night? Oh, Ludo? yeah, no, that, that's going to... Just wake up in a cold sweat. Ludo! That's going to ruin my life, Rob, Ludo. <laughs> you never... What a game of Ludo? No! Yeah. <laughs> never again. <laughs> Never again. Never again. OK. Um, Rishi, what would you spend the money on if you won? First thing that would be on my list is that one of the things I've always wanted to do is go uh, take my parents to one of them fancy Michelin-starred restaurants. Oh. Uh, it's always been a bit out of me. Um, thingy zone, and I'm a big fan of, like, cooking TV shows and all of that. So it's always been on me head, so, so that'd be the first thing. Which one do you want to go to, do you know? The most interesting is probably the Fat Duck. Uh, OK. But you can see what's available. So if you win, you're going to spend it on a Fat Duck? I'm veggie, but... <laughs> Don't have after menu. Be fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. Anyway, well, good luck, Rashid. Let's see how you get on. And Yasmin, hi. You finally made it. Yay. Well done. I made it. We've been waiting a long time for I this. Have, yeah. So you are late to the party, Yasmin. Um, doesn't your son have a nickname for you because you, you're known for your lateness? Tids optimist. Apparently, it's someone who's very optimistic about doing things in time, but they don't always quite manage it. I mean, so... nothing could have summed up your performance on the show so far, <laughs> Yasmin. <laughs> But you're here now, and you're going to go it alone, or you're going to assemble a team? Oh, no, no, definitely build up a strong team. OK, so you guys are all now in competition. Today's categories are drinks, football, classical music, animals, comedy, books, US politics, islands and film. These categories will remain the same until the very end of the show, and you'll have to answer a question correctly from every single one of them to win the cash prize. Michael, is this a go it alone board? It's so close to being, like, my ideal board. But then there's football sitting there just staring at me. <laughs> and classical music sitting there staring at me. But apart from those two, you I'm OK, strong. yeah. Rishi? Um, it's a bit mixed. There are some ones that I think I could do a decent job on, like yep. comedy and film. And uh, you into your comedy. Who's your favourite comedian? Rob Beckett. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying, aren't you? <laughs> OK, um, so, really, you're quite confident with that. Football, you're not a big football fan? Um, not the biggest, but I can, I, I can get a, do a decent job on a few bits. Yeah. Of OK, fair enough. Yasmin? I think most of them are, could be quite good. Yeah. Possibly football is my weak OK. Point. <laughs> Yasmin and Michael, football is a weak point for you guys. So, we know what the headhunters are confident about answering on the board and what they're worried about. Now it's time for them to test the talent pool to see if it's worth paying anyone to help them win the show. Time for question. Whoever gets it right in the fastest time will become today's first candidate. Here are the answers. A, 12 feet. B, 120 feet. C, 1,200 feet. And D, 12,000 feet. And here's the question. The first successful sustained flight by the Wright brothers travelled approximately what distance? The correct answer... B, 120 feet. And the fastest person to give the correct answer was... Anna! Well played. Congratulations. You are today's first candidate. Please step forward. Well done, Anna. You guessed it. It was a quick guess. It was it's still a guess. Um, you did excellently yesterday. You got every question right in this uh, stage of the game. Uh, you only, get, only go downhill from here, then, really, can't you? Or you could match it. Be positive. What are you thinking about the ball today? I like this board. Um, football, big football fan, big fan of classical music. A jazz musician, so... Um, islands, quite like possibly US politics. OK, well, that's quite good, because we've got some people here that need football. Anna, before we get to the headhunters' offers, you have the chance to impress them with your knowledge and get a few more quid for the prize fund. Each category will feature an easy, medium and hard question worth £50, £100 and £150, respectively. Michael, as the first headhunter to qualify, which category would you like Anna to play? Uh, let's see your football knowledge. 
You need it, don't you? Yep. Here are your questions on football. In 2018, which men's team won? No. The English Premier League. That was Manchester City. Correct, well played. <laughs> For £100 in 2018, which men's team won? No. The FIFA World Cup. That was France. Yes, it was. Well done. In 2018, which men's team won? No. The UEFA Champions League. Oh, I watched it. It was uh, Real Madrid. They beat Liverpool in the final. Yes, it is. Well played, Anna. Very impressive. £300 added to the pot. Well done. Yeah. You might have found a solution to your football problem, Michael. I knew that last one, though. Oh, did you? Can't escape Liverpool where I live. Fair enough. OK, Rishi. I kind of want to see what Ireland's looks like, so um, we'll go with Ireland's, please. OK, Ireland's. Here are your questions on Ireland's. What is the capital city of the island nation? No. Jamaica. Uh, Kingston. Yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> Unstoppable, Anna. For 100, what is the capital city of the island nation? No. Iceland. That is Reykjavik. Yes, it is! Very impressive. For 150, and another clean sweep. What is the capital city of the island nation? Fiji. That is Suva. Yes, it is! Wow! Another three in a row, and another £300 to the pot. Well done, Anna. Now, Yasmin, which um, category? Well, I think I'll go for classical music. <laughs> OK, OK, classical music. Do you play classical or just jazz? I started off classical okay. before moving. Yeah. Here are your questions. <laughs> Who composed the opera? No. The Magic Flute. That is Mozart. <laughs> yes, it is for £50. <laughs> Next up, who composed the opera? No. Madama Butterfly. Um, I think it's Puccini. <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> Well played, Anna. <laughs> OK, there we go. For nine correct answers in a row, two days running. Who composed the opera? No. Carmen. Seen this one as well, it's Bizet. <laughs> yes, it is! Wow! <laughs> great, great round there, Anna. Three correct again, £300 added to the prize fund. Unbelievable. £900 all on your own, added to the jackpot. Well done, Anna. <laughs> Headhunters, after that round, today's jackpot stands at £11,100. <laughs> you can now decide how much of your money you'd offer Anna to join your team. Now, Anna, you have 10 seconds to persuade the headhunters why you're the candidate for them. Um, I mean, I just got all my questions right again, so, you know... Might be a safe bet, particularly with this board. Headhunters, are two heads better than one? If so, it's time to make Anna an offer she can't refuse. Please place your bids. Michael, please reveal your offer. Uh, with some room to move upwards, I've gone for 3,500. <sighs> OK. Rishi? I've gone for around a third. Um, 2,900. 900. Yasmin. I, I've gone a little bit lower, um, but uh, I will. I will obviously improve it in the next bit. <laughs> it's two thousand eight hundred. Two thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Don't decide yet, Anna. Which offer to take? Here are some vital stats on the headhunters. Before the show, you all took a hundred question general knowledge test. So let's find out how the headhunters did. So how did Michael do? Seventy two percent. And Rishi. Seventy six percent. And Yasmin. 68%. And you've seen the offers, you've seen the stats. What are you thinking? I think I'm worth a bit more than that, actually. Well, you, you accepted a much higher offer of over £4,000 yesterday when the jackpot was even lower. I and know. you've just added £900 to it yourself. I would be happy to play on any team. Um, so I'm probably going to go with the highest offer. OK. We're in an all out bidding war. Oh, gosh. OK, the biggest offer will get you Anna. Here we go. Mm. Please place your final bids for Anna. 
It's now time to reveal your final bids. Rishi and Yasmin have gone up to £4,000, but Michael has gone up to £4,500. Anna, who are you going to join? I mean, I did say I'd go with the highest offer, so, Michael. OK. <laughs> Congratulations, Anna. You have agreed to join Michael's team, so go and join your headhunter. <laughs> well done. OK, back to the talent pool. The person who answers this question the quickest will become our next candidate. Here are the answers. A. Parisii. B. Iceni. C. Votodini. And D. Dobuni. And here's the question. Which tribe was led by the ancient British queen, Boudicca? OK, let's see the correct answer. B. Iceni. And the fastest was... Alex, well done, congratulations. You are today's second candidate. Please step forward. Congratulations, Alex. You're back again. Thank you. You have been successful in the past. You won with Gerard. Yeah. Um, £2,900 to your wedding fund. The board, what are you thinking? Yeah, there's, it's quite a... Hopefully a good board for me, fingers crossed. Animals, comedy, uh, books potentially film, even a little bit of classical music, but... OK. Animal Zoe, you're a pet portrait artist. Yep. OK, well, Alex, you are going to play three categories chosen by the headhunters. Michael, what would you like Alex to play first? Um, the only sort of really gap I'd say now is maybe animals, so could you give that a go for us? OK, here we go. Sure. Here are your questions on animals. What name is most commonly given to the nest of the squirrel? Squirrels live in a... Is it a dray? Yes, it is. £50. Pounds. Well done. For £100, what name is most commonly given to the nest of the osprey? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine knowing that. Uh... Never, never drawn an osprey in a nest? No, not yet. Did. <laughs> You're going to pass? Osprey den. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm afraid. Headhunters. Fishy Cove. No, it's not, I'm afraid. The correct answer? No. Eerie. Oh, OK, like eagles. OK. Next up for £150, what name is most commonly given to the nest of the no. wasp? I don't know that one either. Um, I take it it's not a hive, because that seems too obvious. I, I don't know. Hopefully someone over there we'll will... try a hive. Hive or nest? But the nest in the question. Yeah, let's try hive. It's not, I'm afraid. Headhunters? I'm not sure if it's a hornet like bees, but... No. OK. The correct answer is... No. Um... A vespery. Yeah. Tough one there. 50 quid, though, added to the bank. Well done. Sorry. Rishi, you're up next with the category for Alex. Um, I'd like to see her give a go at books, please. Books. <laughs> OK. Here are your questions on books. Which author wrote the best-selling novel... No. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? Ah, is it an Icelandic person or a Scandinavian person? Mmm... Some... Michael will know it, so I'm going to pass. OK, pass. Headhunters? Uh, Steve Larson. That's it. Yes, yeah, Steve Larson, correct. <laughs> For £100, which author wrote the best-selling novel? Yeah. Gone Girl. I've read that. I don't know what it is. Pass. pass. Headhunters? It's Michael. Uh, Gillian Flynn. For £100? Yes, well played. That mask has been right in paying off. Here we go, for 150 which author wrote the best-selling novel? No. The Girl on the Train. Yeah, I read that one as well. Where did you read it? On the train. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm just... I'm having a real... I'm having no. a Euro star. Pass, OK. We're going to pass. Headhunters. <laughs> yes, Michael. Paula Hawkins. That's it. Yes, it is. Well played. Good job. Well played, Michael. £300 added to the pot. Congratulations. Yasmin, you're up last. What category are you going to pick for Alex? Alex, you like film? Film. Film. OK, film for Alex. Which film first featured the character Marty McFly? Back to the Future. Yes, well played. £50. 
For 100, which film first featured the character? Dr. Peter Venkman. I think that's Ghostbusters. Yes, it is. Well played. 100 pounds. <laughs> For 150, which film first featured the character? Alex Owens. Fatal, fatal Attraction. Incorrect. Headhunters. No. OK, pass again. The correct answer is... No. Flashdance. Oh, that Alex. OK, Jennifer Beals played Alex Owens in Flashdance. OK, so um, not bad. Two correct answers, though. So £150 added to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Headhunters, after that round, today's jackpot now stands at £11,600. <laughs> You can now decide how much of that money you'd offer Alex to join your team. Alex, you now have 10 seconds to say what you think you are worth and why you'd be a great buy. OK, so obviously I've been on a few shows now, still haven't really calmed down properly, but what I've learned is that I'm good at random bits of information, so I think that's where my strength lies. Perhaps the good old brain can just pull it out of the bag for you. OK, Headhunters, time to make your bid for Alex. Alex is currently only one of two players that have made it to the final and banked some cash. How much is her experience worth? Michael, please show us your offer. Uh, I've gone a bit lower than what I gave Anna, but I think because this is such a strong team, you should definitely come with us. Stick a bit more money in the wedding fund. <laughs> uh, I've offered you 1,500. 1,500. Rishi? 3,000 pounds is what I offered. Uh, Yasmin? Um, Alex, I really want you on my team, and I've gone for 3,200. 3,200, the biggest offer coming from Yasmin. OK, before you decide which offer to take, here's the previous candidate, Anna's general knowledge score. 85%. We currently know that's the biggest score out of all the contestants that we've seen so far. OK, so you've seen the offers, you've seen the stats. Is there anyone you're leaning towards, Alex? At the moment, I'm leaning towards Michael's team because it's a lower offer. Interesting, because a lower amount means if Michael doesn't make it to the final, then another headhunter can buy you. So, Rishi and Yasmin, if you wanted to lower your offers, I'd be open to joining you. Oh, OK. <laughs> headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You all have one final chance to make Alex a counteroffer to bag her for your team. OK, let's reveal the Headhunter's final bids. So they have decreased their offers, but not by too much. Alex, who are you going to join and why? I'm so sorry, guys, but I've got to go with Michael's team. OK, so you've accepted <laughs> Michael's <laughs> offer of £1,500. So go and join your Headhunter. <laughs> OK, Talent Pool, you'll now face a final qualifier for the last chance to join a headhunter today. Here are the four possible answers. A, Belgium. B, Spain. C, Luxembourg. D, Netherlands. And the question? The prime meridian passes through which of these countries? The correct answer is... B, Spain. And the fastest was... Victoria! <laughs> Up again. Congratulations to our today's final candidate. Well done, Victoria. Fifth show in a row you've been in play. <laughs> Quick fingers. There's a lot in the pot. You could be in line with some big offers. What do you think you could bring to these headhunter teams? Football fan at all? Uh, not particularly, but I know a little bit. Um, I think drinks, animals, comedy are probably my stronger ones. Mm -hmm. Um, islands might be OK, books and films, it depends on... So, a good spread, are. really? I hope so. OK, well, Michael, what would you like Victoria to play? Um, let's, let's have a pop at animals. OK, animals. <laughs> According to Oxford Dictionaries, the young of which bird is called a... <laughs> Signet. It's a swan. Yes, it is, well done. <laughs> For £100, the young of which bird is called a... Squab. It's a pigeon. Yes, £100 well done. <laughs> For 150 the young of which bird is called a...? Ah, yes. Um, I 
don't know that, so I'm just going to guess um, an emu. No, incorrect, I'm afraid. Headhunters. <laughs> Richie? Kookaburra. No, it's not, I'm afraid. The correct answer is... No. Hawk. Uh, well done, Victoria. You got two correct there. <laughs> Rishi, you're up next. Which category for Victoria? Um, I think I'd like to give Ireland a go. Your question's on islands. What is the official language of the island nation no. Cuba? Um, I'm going to guess Spanish. Yep, well done. <laughs> For 100, what is the official language of the island nation? No. Bahrain. Arabic. Yes, well played, £100. <laughs> For 150, what is the official language of the island nation? No. Cabo Verde. Uh, I'm going to guess Portuguese. OK, for a clean sweep. Yes, well done! <laughs> Great round there. <laughs> £300 added to the prize fund. <laughs> Yasmin, you're up last. Which category are you going for? Uh, we'll go for comedy. Comedy. Here we go. Your question's on comedy. Which comedy group has members including... No. Michael Palin and Eric Idle? Monty Python. Yep, well done. <laughs> Which comedy group has members including... Graham Garden and Bill Oddie. The goodies? Yes, £100, well done. <laughs> For a clean yes. sweep, two on the bounce, 150 quid. Which comedy group has members including... Yeah. Andy Smart and Josie Lawrence? Oh, she does a lot of radio for comedy. But I, I've got nothing. Um, I'm going to pass. Headhunters? Anything? Have you got a guess, or is it...? Not even a guess yeah, for 150 it. quid? I can't think of it. No. No? I no, I want to see it. The correct answer is... No. The Comedy Store Players Improv Group. OK, very impressive, though. Two correct, £150. <laughs> Headhunters, after that round, today's jackpot will be... £12,200. <laughs> you can now offer Victoria a slice of that cash to join you. Victoria, you have 10 seconds now to sell yourself. What is it you're expecting from that jackpot and why? I don't need a lot. I'd just like to help anyone out um, if I can. You know, uh, I feel like this is quite a good board for me. Maybe not US politics, but other than that, I think I'm OK. You've heard from the candidate. Time to lock in your offer. Michael, please show us your offer. I think we've got most things covered. So I'm starting at 800. OK. Rishi, what would you like to offer? Um, I've come up with an offer that I think would um, leave you viable if it came to the end game. Yeah, makes so sense. I think 2,200 is reasonable. Thank you. Yasmin? Not really played tactics terribly well, but I've gone for <laughs> 4,500 because I really want you here. <laughs> OK. And obviously I can go up, but that might not be in your best interest, I'm not sure. Before you decide which offer to take, here's the previous candidate, Alex's general knowledge score. 75%. Oh, it's a strong team. Victoria? Yeah. Is there anyone you're thinking of joining? It may seem a little bit ridiculous, but I am swayed towards the lower amounts unless you want to come right down so that he can buy me for that amount later on. OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You have one final chance to make Victoria a counter-offer and claim the last candidate today. Rishi and Yasmin need to try and tempt Victoria to join them or they'll be playing their head-to-head -head round alone. Michael has less prize money to share, but will he go all out to secure all three candidates for his team? OK. Headhunters, Please reveal your final bids for Victoria. Yeah, it's sent. OK, so 50 quid extra. 1,000 is the amount that, if Michael bid for you, he would still have the highest number on his team for. So, seems the lowest reasonable offer. I'll, I'll say I would be willing to go up to 1,000. Then um, I'll go with Rishi. OK, congratulations, you've accepted Rishi's offer of £1,000. So go and join your headhunter.
And just to complete all of our information on today's contestants, let's reveal Victoria's general knowledge score. 68%. Very strong score there. No further candidates will emerge from the pool. Better luck tomorrow. The hunters have recruited their heads. It's now time for them to go head to head. <laughs> Headhunters, you've each got five lives. In this round, you'll all select another headhunter to face a category of your choice. For every incorrect answer, a life will be lost. Lose all five lives and you are out of the game, thrown back into the talent pool to try it again tomorrow. The last hunter standing will go through to play for the cash. Michael, you qualified first. Who would you like to pick? Uh, yeah, we've been chatting. I think we're going to go for animals for Yasmin. OK. Here are your questions on animals. Which reptile? <laughs> has a species called Jacksons that can change colour? Uh, chameleon? <laughs> yes! <laughs> well played. <laughs> Next up, which reptile yeah. is the largest living species of crocodilian? Ooh. I don't know if a Komodo, Komodo dragon is a cro crocodilian or not, but I'll say Komodo dragon. No, incorrect, so. I'm afraid. The correct answer is <laughs> saltwater crocodile. Okay. Okay, you lose a life, I'm afraid, Yasmin. <laughs> Next up, which reptile <laughs> is Africa's longest venomous snake? Um, is it a black mamba? Yes, well done. <laughs> Strong round there, Yasmin. <laughs> you now have the power. Which category and which headhunter? Hmm. You can pick Rishi or Michael. Uh, I'll go for Michael's team. Mm -hmm. Let's go US politics, because it could be anything. OK, US politics for Michael. You've got three questions, five lives. Which US president yeah. won a Grammy in 2008? Yeah. Uh, Barack Obama. Yes, well played. <laughs> for best spoken word album. OK, which US president yeah. succeeded George Washington as president? John Adams. Yep, yeah, another one. Well done. <laughs> which US president yeah. featured on the $100,000 bill issued in 1934? Grover Cleveland. If that's what you think it is, I don't know. I've got a feeling it's Grover Cleveland. <laughs> Incorrect. The correct answer is... Yeah. Woodrow Wilson. You lose a life, I'm afraid, but two correct answers. Well done. You got the power. Which headhunter and which category? Yeah, I think I'll give um, drinks to Rishi and Victoria. Drinks to Rishi and Victoria. Which variety of tea yeah. is named after a Prime Minister with the first name Charles? I can't Just think of that. What are the types of cheese? You've got oolong, which is it's not going to be Charles Oolong. Surely. Assam. Um, Assam. These are named after locations. I'm Darji Wayne. You had Earl Grey, Lady Grey. English <laughs> breakfast. Um, <laughs> yeah, Charles English <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> um, I, I mean, the Earl Grey is the only one I can think of that's actually named after a person. Yeah. Makes sense. So, Earl Grey. Yes, well done, Earl Grey. <laughs> Next up, which variety of tea? Mm was the first to be awarded Indian Geographical Indication status. Well, both Assam and Darjeeling are in India, but um, I guess Assam's the more known one. I'd say Darjeeling. Do you think? I don't want to sway your answer, but isn't... Well, uh, whereabouts is Assam uh, Assam's compared a, to Darjeeling? Assam's a state. And, and Darjeeling. I think that's more of a localised area. So. OK. So I think... Go with your gut. Uh, my gut says Assam. No, it's not, I'm afraid. Darjeeling. Your gut said Assam. What did your teammates say? Darjeeling. Yeah. Darjeeling. You lose a life, I'm afraid. Sorry, Next up, which variety of tea yeah. is from China and has a name that means black dragon? Lapsang Su Chong. Uh, that would be my go to. I'm just trying to think. Oh, wait, no, you... I think long means dragon in Chinese because of yeah. uh, random anime I've watched, so. I think Thought it might it be Oolong. Perfect. Go with that, I'd say. I think Oolong. Yes, well played. <laughs> Two correct answers. You have the power. Which headhunter are you going to pick and which category? 
What, what would you what do you think your weakest song? I think classical music is the one I'll definitely not be able to do. So because like, I think if they gave us football, I could probably do a decent yeah, job. But I classical music bit. that yeah. wouldn't get any anywhere. So you're going for classical music? I think classical music to Michael's team. Okay, classical music for Michael. Which composer wrote the 1843 movement, The Wedding March? What's the one that I thought Mendelssohn? It's Mendelssohn, it's more of this one at the end of it. Yeah, I know it can. You just practice them for yourself, won't you? Hearing those, yeah, hearing it. The team says Mendelssohn. Can you give us any more? Felix. Yes, well done. I thought most composers were done. Next up, which composer wrote the 1951 opera Billy Budd? Who wrote, um... I think Billy Budd is, like, their only opera, isn't it? Irving Berlin. He's a composer that I've heard of. Who wrote, um, Sweeney Todd? It's too early for him, isn't it? He's still alive. Sometime. Sometime. Yeah, he's still knocking about. We've got to go with that. We'll go with Leonard Bernstein. OK, is that correct? <laughs> Incorrect. The correct answer? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Benjamin Britten. Sorry about that, you lose another life. <laughs> Next up, which composer <laughs> became the first female master of the Queen's music in 2014? Don't know any female composers, apparently. Going to pass? Yeah. Uh, let's pass. The answer is... <laughs> Judith Weir. OK, you lose another life. You're down to two lives, but you have the power. Which category and which headhunter? I'll give books to Rishi and Victoria. OK, books to Rishi and Victoria. Which classic English novel features letters by Robert Walton regarding a monster? Frankenstein. Correct. Well <laughs> which classic English novel by Dickens was serialised in 1849 and is semi-autobiographical. Is it Hard Times? That's a really good shout, actually, yeah. Um, so problem, might as well go with it. Um, hard Times? Incorrect, I'm afraid. The answer is... No. David Copperfield. And you lose one more life, I'm afraid. No, Next up, which classic English novel... No. ..is subtitled A Study of Provincial Life? Feels like it would be a Thomas Hardy kind of title. It could well be, um, but it's the subtitle, so you think what? And it's going to be based around the countryside. Tess of the Durbervilles. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I can come up with anything better. I'll go with your gut. Um, Tess of the Durbervilles. It's incorrect. The answer is no. Middlemarch. You lose another line. It's by George Eliot. Which headhunter and which category? No. We don't want to give them football because they're good at football. That's true. And, yeah, it's my... it seems really mean, but... But she's going to survive the round no Yeah, exactly. What. So... Like a football. Yeah, so football to Yasmin, I think. Okay. okay. Football for Yasmin. Three your questions. Which footballer yeah. scored his 600th goal for Barcelona in 2019? Um... I know who it is because... It, um... Messi, <laughs> I think. Yes! Well done, Yasmin! I think that's the only thing I would have known. OK. Which footballer signed for Real Madrid in 2013 for a reported £85 million? Oh. It's the one who played in the last World Cup. <laughs> no, I can't think of his name. You're going to pass? Yeah. OK, it's pass. The answer is... Yeah. Gareth yeah. Bale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You lose a life, I'm afraid, Yasmin. Yes. Three lives remaining. Next up, which footballer yeah. was the England team captain at the 2019 Women's World Cup? No, I can't remember her name. No. I did. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's pass again. The correct answer? Yeah. Steph yeah. Horton. You lose another life, I'm afraid, Yasmin. Well done, though. You got one correct there. It was a tough round. You have the power. Which category and which headhunter? Mr. Michael's team. Mm -hmm. um, comedy? OK. Comedy for Michael. You have two lives <laughs> remaining, three questions. Good luck. Which comedian yeah. ran 27 marathons in 27 days in 2016 for sport relief? Eddie Azad. Correct. Well done. Good work. Which comedian yeah. 
has a 2009 autobiography called Look Back in Hunger. But no, but with a title like that, it makes me think possibly Johnny Vegas. You're going for? Yeah, I'll go Johnny for Vegas. Johnny Vegas. Incorrect. Uh, the correct answer is yeah. Joe Brand. You lose another life. You're down to your final life. You get this wrong, Michael, you'll be knocked out. Which comedian was part of the new romantic group, Shauna Dancing? <laughs> Ricky Gervais. OK, to stay in the game. Yes, well done, well played. OK. You've got the power back. You have Rishi and Yasmin left on two lives each. You've got islands and film. We'll go for Yasmin with film, please. OK. You a fan of film? Yeah, sort of pre-1960. <laughs> pre-1960, OK. Yasmin, your question's on film. Oh, Which okay. 1980s film <laughs> stars Dustin Hoffman as Raymond Babbitt? Rainman? Yes, well played, Yasmin. <laughs> Next up. Which 1980s film did Daniel Day-Lewis win his first Best Actor Oscar for? My left foot. You're on fire, Yasmin. Two in a row. Well done. You've got two lives remaining. Next question. Which 1980s film features the character Claire Standish? I'll say pass because I can't quite bring it to okay. mind. You're going to pass. The answer is no. The Breakfast Club. So you lose a life. You have one life remaining. There's one category left. So you could knock out one of the teams now with this category. Are you going to pick Rishi or Michael to face the final um, category? OK, here, yeah, Michael. <laughs> You're going to pick Michael to yeah. take on Islands. Yeah. One life remaining, three questions. You need to get through all of these in order to be in the tie break. Which island no. combines with Antigua to form the name of a Caribbean country? Barbuda. Yes, well played. <laughs> Next up, which island no. in the Indian Ocean gained full independence from France in 1960? Is it Mauritius? Say Mauritius. Mauritius. To stay in the game, Mauritius. Oh. Incorrect. Yeah. The correct answer. Yeah. Madagascar. Yeah. Totally. You lose your final life and you've been knocked out of the game. Michael, I'm afraid your game is over today, but Alex and Anna, you might get one last chance at the end of this round. <laughs> so, it's now down to just Rishi and Yasmin who face a tiebreaker question. The first person to get the next question right will go through to seal the deal. So once again, here are four possible answers. A, Singapore, B, Hong Kong, C, Hanoi, and D, Taiwan. And the question? Which of these places has a name of Chinese origin that means fragrant harbour? OK, let's see your answers. No. OK, so Yasmin's gone A, Rishi's gone B. Who got it right? The correct answer is... B, Hong Kong! Yeah. Rishi, congratulations. Yeah. You'll be going to the final yeah. round. Yeah. Unfortunately, Yasmin, you will go back into the talent pool to try it again tomorrow. Unlucky, great first attempt. Michael and Yasmin, as losing headhunters, you'll both be returning to the talent pool. But losing candidate Anna and Alex, you have one last opportunity to go through to the final round today. Rishi, for knocking out the other two headhunters, you can now recruit any of their candidates for the price on their head. Would you like Anna to join you for 4,500? Yes, I would, Rob. Would you like Alex to join you for 1,500? I would. Whoa, OK, you are doubling up. Anna and Alex, you're going to be playing with Rishi for the jackpot. Everyone else, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Rishi, you have successfully seen off your challenges with your brilliant team. Now it's time to try and seal the deal.
<laughs> OK, Rishi, Anna, Alex and Victoria to win today's jackpot, which stands at £12,200. You now have 90 seconds to answer one question correctly from each category on that board. It's time to seal the deal. Here we go. Your time starts now. Drinks. What time of fortified wine includes Fino and Oloroso? Port. Ah. Port. Port. Incorrect. Sherry. Football. Which Brazilian footballer retired in 1977, having scored over 1,200 goals? Hello. Correct. Classical music. Which Gilbert and Sullivan operetta features a character, Yum Yum? The Mikado. The Mikado. Correct. Animals. What is the only type of venomous snake native to Great Britain? The Adder. The Adder. Correct. Which comedian plays Nessa Jenkins in the sitcom Gavin and Stacey? Ruth Jones. Ruth Jones. Correct. Books. Neville Tickle, a sleeping dragon, is the motto of which school in the Harry Potter books? Hogwarts. Correct. US politics. Who was sworn in as vice president of the USA in 2017? My pants. My pants. Correct. Islands. Hobart is the capital of which island state of the south coast of Australia? Tasmania. Correct. Film. The character John McClane's first appears in which 1988 action oh, film? Die Hard. Correct. Drinks. The name of which alcoholic spirit comes from a West Germanic word for burnt wine? Um, Riesling. What? Oh, no. Wait, burnt wine. Just say Riesling. Oh, no, brandy. Pass. Um, it was brandy. Drinks. A sea breeze cocktail is typically made with cranberry and which other fruit juice? Um, orange. Can, uh, pineapple. Just say something. Orange. orange. Pineapple juice. Incorrect. Grapefruit juice. Drinks. Ace juices are typically made from a mixture of orange, lemon and which vegetable? Oh, pass. pass. Carrot. Drinks. What variety of Chinese black tea is traditionally smoke-dried over pinewood fires? Lapsang Su Chong. Correct. Yes! Well played, Rishi! Congratulations to Victoria, Anna and Alex. You've won! Oh. Well done! Well played. Well done! Oh. Well done! Congratulations. Thousand oh. pounds. Well done, Rishi. Oh, my God. Oh. Mate, it was so good. Well, well played. Well played, Anna. <laughs> Well played, Thank Alex. You, you won you again. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> well done, guys. Congratulations. Rishi, Victoria, Anna and Alex, you've won. £12,200. Victoria, take another £1,000. You'll get that tow bar. Rishi, yes. 5200 and a 4500 Alex, 1500 To add to the 2900 you've already won. Madness. You guys can all go back to the talent pool, but Rishi, you will be leaving us with £5,200. Round of applause for Rishi, everyone! <laughs> so we'll say goodbye to you, Rishi, and someone new will be taking your place in the talent pool. Join us tomorrow where we'll see if the headhunters break the bank or tank. See you then, bye bye!